power to shut satanic doors, everything in life has a door, there are doors to the realm of blessings, there are doors to the realm of tragedies, there are divine doors, and there are satanic doors, satanic doors will usher your destiny, into the realm of evil occurrences, you need to check up, and discover the presence of evil doors in your life, or destiny, a satanic door can be big, or small, no matter the size of the door, you must not tolerate any form of evil presence, in your destiny, a satanic door can be likened to an evil loophole in your life, or destiny, if you allow the enemy to gain an inroad into your destiny, you may become a carrier of an evil luggage, hence, many so-called believers, have become hosts to demonic presence, a lot of careless Christians, have mistakenly opened the doors of their lives, to subtle demons, is it possible to have an evil spirit, as a Christian? Yes, why? It is, because when a person gets born again, it is the spirit that is renewed, but the mind and body might still be under the control of the devil, a born again Christian cannot be possessed by demons, unless he, or she goes back to sin, but, someone who is already demonized before conversion, will need to go for deliverance, a believer filled with the Holy Spirit can never be possessed, there are two powers, that the Lord will not give the devil, one, your mind, the devil and his demons cannot read your mind, although, sometimes they behave as, if they could, two, your will, they cannot control your will, except you hand it over to them, everyone has a willful power, there are many things you can do by your willpower alone, you must learn to exercise your will against things, that you do not want in your life, perhaps, you have not been praying aggressively, now is the time to start, there are many things to cut off, pull down, root out or rebuild, wickedness is being practiced, in the dark places of the world, when a person was fed in the dream and woke up heavy, it was the spirit that was fed, some people hear their names called, and they woke up from sleep, with a stir, it was the spirit that was being summoned, and it could be unto death, if not, prayerfully, dealt with, what I am saying to you is very serious, a lot of people get contaminated at a tender age, some get contaminated, when they start moving about, for some, it is through false teachings and doctrines, demons can physically manifest, in form of human beings, if a person has sexual intercourse with a demon, that comes in the physical form, it will take the grace of God, to get the person delivered, the person will be in trouble, and if, he, or she cannot trace it to the relationship, he, or she might not be able to pray, meaningfully, the demon could manifest, as a very beautiful, handsome, or ugly person, it could take the physique of a person, who really exists somewhere else, all these descriptions are not useful to a Christian, who does not open any door to them, sometimes, certain objects could have demons attached to them, such objects are called, spiritually contaminated objects, they include rosary, crucifix, decorations, jewelry, clothing, etc., these demons go about with the person, as he, or she goes about with the objects, the servants of Satan can call up a demon, attach it to an object, and present it to a person, as a gift, there was a couple, who received a lot of gifts from people at their wedding, after their honeymoon, they came home and started unwrapping the gifts, there was a carton, in which they saw two carry shells, this is what a wicked person came to present at the church, Christians should be very careful these days, they should not be ignorant of the devices of these powers, you should be alert, and careful about things and people you receive gifts from, some people take food anyhow, and eat, without praying, there are spirit spies, that are programmed into domestic animals, so that they can gather, day to day, first hand information about the person, and relay it to these powers, people are afraid of black cats, it is true, that the witches use black cats, but the deception of the devil is to conceal the fact, that they actually prefer the white ones, the eyes and ears of a domestic animal in many houses, are for gathering information, if you want to carry out a test, pour anointing oil on your animals at home, and see what happens, however, it is easier to deliver an animal from evil powers, than a human being, because animals do not commit sin therefore, the devil has no legal right to stay in their lives, when chased out, it is possible to find out that the spirit of fornication, 
that many people are battling with, came from the dogs they were playing with, a lot of people carry evil marks, put on them by evil powers, for identification to demons, sometimes, evil people steal strands of hair, nails, sweat, clothing, etc., and give to demons, so that they can fish the owners out for destruction. These demons act like police dogs, that sniff and identify culprits, with materials belonging to them, have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty, Psalm 74 hours 20 minutes doors in our environment there are entry points and exits, that we need to think about and close, 1, idolatry, this is the worship of idols, or bearing names, that have to do with idol worship, the ancestors of many families worshipped idols, and they dedicated their descendants to these idols, if your family has a shrine, or you have consulted a herbalist, or native doctor before, or you have incisions on your body, all these are open doors, dedication of children to an idol is an open door, because those spirits will come back to claim a right over those children, sometimes, children are dedicated to rivers, rocks, etc., 2, chieftaincy titles are open doors to the devil, because they go along with rituals and dedications, a man of God once said, it is a demotion for a Christian to get a chieftaincy title, a Christian is a king, prince of God and a priest, it is strange, that many people have been demoted this way, just because they want popularity, 3, when people fry and distribute bin cakes, locally called akara, to commemorate anything, those, who prepare such bin cakes and those, who eat them, are opening doors in their lives to the devil, 4. The idea of carrying sacrifices to crossroads, also opens doors to the devil, 5. Consultation of white garment prophets, where the names of angels are invoked, Michael, being treated like Jesus, also constitutes open doors to the devil and problems, let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed lip by his fleshly mind, Colossian, 2.18, this scriptural passage shows, that believers are not meant to pray, with the names of angels, 6, incense, burning, 2, is an open door, candle burning, special use of selected psalms, as if, they were incantations, the taking of baths in rivers, or seashores, or blood, bath, cracking or breaking of eggs with people's heads, or taking perfumes from prophets, being camped in a white garment place of worship, under the guise of protection, are practices that open door of people's lives to the devil, 7, pilgrimage to mountains for special prayers on a yearly, or monthly basis, opens doors to demons, 8, use of special sponges and soaps, which prophets call holy, to have special, or daily baths, 9, immorality and sexual intercourse outside marriage, calls for strange spirits, moving from one person to the other, 10, possession of demonic materials for protection, or decoration, 11, astrology and horoscope consultation, 12, evil inheritance, some people got evil spirits passed on to them, from their parents, and ancestors, and this contaminated their lives, 13, kissing a corpse, physically, or seeing oneself in the dream, eating with dead relatives, 14, consultation of soothsayers and fetish priests, 15, incest, sexual intercourse with family members, 6, having girlfriends, and concubines outside marriage, it is more than polygamy, 17, shaving hair when a relative dies, 18, probing into the cause of death, by conjuring evil spirit 19, pouring libation, 20, forming blood governance with people, 21, loss of shoes on wedding day, or loss of wedding ring, when you open the door to an evil spirit, the door closes, and it abides with you, for you to pray through, you have to reopen the door, for it to go out and you will now keep the door permanently closed, he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans 8:32. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, Romans 8:37. The Bible says, Children, this is the last hour, 
the devil is increasing his tempo, because his time is almost up, many people have practiced religion all their lives, it is time to practice the supernatural power of God, let us prove to every witch and wizard round, that they do not have power like our God, and they do not have the final say on anything, that concerns us, God has the final say, I want you to say these out loud, 1, God has the final say, 2, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus, the Bible says, that the devil is the accuser of the brethren, if the devil is accusing you day and night before God, petitioning every time, you can counter petition against him, take the following prayer points, aggressively, the mystery of demonic doors, a door is an entrance, or exit, it keeps out unwanted visitors, and hinders those inside from going out, it is an essential part of a building. According to the Bible, it has different meanings, in the head of a man, for example, there are seven different doors, these include, two eyes, two ears, two nostrils and one mouth, Jesus calls himself the door, it means, that he is the entrance to the kingdom of heaven, Paul talks about the door of faith, which through him, was opened to the Gentiles, Paul was referring to the Gentiles opportunity, to hear the word of the gospel, also, Sham 141-3 talks about keeping the door of the lips, this book is going to reveal some secrets to you, I pray that your spiritual eyes be opened, to behold wondrous things, the Bible says, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee, Jeremiah 119 push to the wall, if you have been pushed to the wall by one problem, or the other, this message is dedicated to you, when you want to fight back sometimes, the devil tries to scare you, and prove to you, that you are not strong enough to fight, if you are a fighter for the Lord, I would like to show you two passages in the Bible, that the devil docks not want you to know, so that you will not read them, a deliverance case may look tough, but, if you quote fire passages, the demons will flee, and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, and I heard another voice from heaven, saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, in the cup which she hath filled fill to her double, how much she hath glorified herself and live deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her, and the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her, and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city! For in one hour is thy judgment come, Revelation 18 verse 1 to 10 This passage is prophesying about the fall of Babylon, the kingdom of the devil on earth, for want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time desolate and waste, who cut up mallows by the bushes, and juniper roots for their meat they were driven forth from among men, they cried after them as after a thief, to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks, among the bushes they brayed, under the nettles they were gathered together, they were children of fools, yea, children of base men, they were viler than the earth, Job 30 to 3 8, evil spirits that are bad, do not want you to quote these scriptures, I want you to keep them in your heart, because they have a purpose in your life, the inner secrets, when God created everything at the beginning, it was a perfect work, the Bible says God examined everything he had created and said, they were all good, then, the evil came into those things, that God had created through open doors, 
eye, mouth, Eve had a discussion with the serpent, two, ears, she hearkened to its suggestions, three, eyes, her eyes saw the beauty of the fruit, four, mouth, she ate it, v, mouth, Adam, two, et, there are many doors, through which problems get into good works, in the lives of people, sometimes, final solutions do not come, until you have located the doors, that gave entry to the problem, when you chase out the enemy, you, then, close the door against future attacks, there are three stages to deliverance, one, cut off the spirit, by chasing it out of the person, two, repair the destruction, done by the spirit, three, keep it away from coming back, by closing the doors, the spirits in our environment have done a lot of havocs in the lives of many people, that is why, I want you to take this message, seriously, and take the warfare prayer with aggression, so that you will locate and chase out all the activities of these spirits, every geographical location, has a peculiar spirit controlling it, the commonest evil spirits in Nigeria are as follows, 1, the African witch, this goes out at night to attend a meeting, leaving the physical body, this type of witchcraft manifests in people, putting their feet on the wall, and traveling out, they have put marks on the lives of many people, many churches are afraid of talking about witches, because they do not know the kind of attacks they will receive, note, that God kept you, when you were ignorant of these things, so, he will keep you, when you tell others, and deliver them, to, the African wizard, these are men, that are in the demonic and occultic world, some people think, it is only women that are involved in witchcraft, a lot of men go about collecting virtues from women, and convert them to theirs, a man vomited his poverty into the life of a woman, and she became poor, while he became rich, 3, familiar spirits, or Ogbange, the route of the problems of some men took off, from the sexual relationships they had with the girls, who had familiar spirits, 4, water spirits, in the Edo region, for example, they are called Olokun, in Yoruba land, they are called Yemoa, in the sea towns like Lagos, Port Harcourt, there are called Mami water spirits, or mermaids, they are destroying many lives, and if, we, as Christians, keep quiet and not warn people about them, they will destroy those lives, who could land in hell, already, they have confused many people and businesses, because they have been operating unhindered, 5, spirits impersonating the dead, these are demon spirits that take the form of dead people, and roam about causing confusion, 6, demon idols, these are sent to paralyze, and kill people, 7, forest demons, they are found in thick forests, but, sometimes come to town to do harm to people, many enter into more satanic traps, in a bid to find solutions to their problems, many enter into traps, because of power, they want to control others, be feared, or respected, some got into satanic traps, because they wanted to know the future, instead of knowing the one, who owns the future, they consult diviners, read horoscopes, look into crystal balls, etc., you should not worry about the future, because the one who, owns the future is our father, many get into these traps, because of poverty and in a bid to get rich, they consult and give their lives to the devil, for some, it is through foolish intellectual curiosity, they read all sorts of books on astral projection, occultism, etc., and are pushed to put what they read into practice, when a person is in a bondage of sin, he opens a door to the devil, some people drink wine, instead of hot drinks, thinking they are modest, some have only one girlfriend, and think God will not judge them, as fornicators, if wickedness is in your heart, and you are heartless, you have no feeling of pity, or sympathy for those around you, you have opened a door to Satan, the habitation of cruelty what the enemy wants to spoil in many lives, he had already done at the foundation, at the level, or stage, when there was little, or no consciousness, your being born again, gives you a pathway to get out of these problems, getting born again is not the solution, it is only a way to the solutions, unless specific praying is done, the problems will generally remain, or try to hide, the Bible says, the habitation of the wicked is full of cruelty, there was a small boy, who felt like using the loo at around 2,8 m, so, 
As he was going to the toilet, one spirit told him to look through the keyhole of an old woman staying in the same compound, in order to see what she was doing. The small boy went to peep through the keyhole, and to his amazement, what he saw dazed him. He saw the old woman of about eighty years old, standing naked in the middle of the room, as she began to transform into a young girl, from the top of her head downwards, she, completely, transformed to a young girl of about twenty-one years, after she had dressed up in some lace materials, she, then, prepared to go out, the boy was dumbfounded and was, therefore, transfixed at the woman's door. He could immediately not move away from the door, until she was opening the door, although the boy ran away, his eyes had been bewitched, hence, this is the time for you to do a very serious fight with Satan, at MFM, we call a lot of prayer points, which may look strange to newcomers in the school of spiritual warfare, but these prayers work and bring results, for example, what do you understand by the following prayer points, O oh Lord, send your fire to the foundation of my life, and let it burn to ashes everything presently, affecting me in a negative way, I break and loose myself from any bondage, which might have been transferred from my parents, O oh Lord release me from foundational problems, I refuse to follow any evil design or pattern laid down by my ancestors, in Jesus name, Holy Ghost fire, destroy the roots of inherited evil plantations the evil quota, what do you understand by these prayer points, and why do you think we pray them? It is because, 90% of the problems that are resistant to normal praying are rooted in the foundation. The problem of the evil foundation is enormous, and has completely messed up many lives. Recently, when I was in Abuja, a sister came for counseling, she brought two hospital reports, one showed that she was five months pregnant, and the other report could not trace the baby in her womb again, how do you explain this? The doctors got confused, but by the time we started praying, it was revealed, that the problem had to do with her foundations, in her family, they had promised some idols, that they will be supplying them a specific number of babies every year, and the quota for the year had not been met, so, they removed the baby, with plans to remove three more, our Lord himself understood this, and at a point, he pointed accusing fingers at the background of the Jews, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Because ye build the tombs of the prophets, and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets, wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves, that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets, fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets, and wise men, and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar, Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation, Matthew 23 colon 29 36 The Jews are called the generation of those, who killed the prophets, for example, some women complain, that their husbands do not stay at home, and they always move around with strange women, or strange vultures, what we are saying is, that this problem might have nothing to do with your husband, it may be from your own foundation, perhaps your father was a polygamist, and that spirit has entered into you, and you have transferred it to your husband, this is the spirit of polygamy, it creates the desire to have many women, until this is broken, the problem will remain, you will be deceiving yourself as a black person and as a Christian, if you choose to dismiss with carelessness, your background, or participation in masquerades, tribal rituals, collection of your name from an oracle, being born by a father, who has charms, armlets and idols at home, parents, who accept services from demons, parents, who are harsh to slaves and being born in a polygamous setup, you will be deceiving yourself to believe, that all these will just fly past you, without any effect, it is not possible at all, the great truth is that the full scope of evil foundation has not been adequately, understood, or comprehended by present day believers, many are saved, 
sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, thank God for them, all these are like spiritual soaps to be applied, for the washing of spiritual body, until they are applied, they will not wash, it is like buying the biggest Bible in the world, and wrapping it in the most expensive snake skin, this will not achieve anything, until it is applied, doors you must close, a lot of people are spiritually blind, hence, they get into traps, and feed at the devil's table, without knowing it, when you practice the religion of deception, a door is open to the devil, sometimes, people have a feeling, that they are running mad, some experience chains of problems, and are perplexed, sometimes, powers of darkness confront people openly, they are being pressed down on their beds, and fed in their dreams, it is, because a door has been opened, when a divine promise on a person's life is failing, all efforts to be successful proved abortive, dullness and poverty set into the life of a rich person, or a person experiences unexplainable failures and threats, all these show, that a door has been opened to the devil, many people move about like dogs, having girlfriends all over the place, thereby having children all over, such people are constructing coffins for themselves, even before they die, when problems seem to multiply, and trials seem unending, a door has been opened, when there is itching heat, or strange movement in the body, a door has been opened, beloved, demons, or evil spirits have no loyalty to anybody, if you go to the hospital, you will find out, that what they are going through is, as a result of conflicts between demons, the power of God, for example, if parents consult a witch doctor, because their child is convulsing, the witch doctor puts incisions on the child, gives him or her concoctions to drink, by so doing, he assigns a demon to protect the child, most times, the convulsion, or whatever problem the child has, stops, but, he is being followed by demons, if such a child encounters the power of God, there will be a conflict, as such, the demon will bow, and the child will be set free, we need to ask the Lord for help, search our lives to know all the doors, that have been opened to the enemy, and close them, how to close doors against the enemy 1, confess your sins to the Lord 2, ask for forgiveness, 3, plead the blood of Jesus, when a demon wants to attack a person, or people, he looks for open doors, things that are not godly, when there is no open door, he hangs around for opportunities, sometimes, he succeeds due to the carelessness of the person, unconfessed, or cleverly concealed sin, is a doorway to the devil, there are deaf and dumb spirits, they do not hear your commands, therefore, their activities continue, you have to ask God to make them hear, and they will pack their loads and go, man is a spirit, soul and body, all these three areas can create open doors in the life of a person, one, the body, it has many doors, and can be afflicted and eventually, killed by the evil powers, a person can yield his, or her body to sin, through any of the doors, the intellect could be affected, some people allow incisions to be made on them, thereby giving these powers access to their blood, this could be manipulated in witchcraft meetings, and different kinds of diseases can develop and the person's strength can be sapped from him, or her, many people are being killed, gradually, either from the top, or from the lower regions, too, the soul, this can gain control over the body, or spirit, a witch can be in Yabba, and her soul will be annoying Bo, causing havocs, this is possible, because there is a demon attached to it, it links the soul to the spirit, it can be cast out, or attacked, through the right prayers, to make the witch becomes powerless, 3, the spirit, it is the part of man, that has a relationship with, either God, or Satan, the spirit of a person can be wounded, through fights in the dream, sometimes, the wound inflicted on the spirit in the dream, manifests, physically, many fights that take place in the dream, are not meant to kill, but to wound the spirit of a person, and to render him, or her helpless. Chapter 5 Chapter 5 Dealing with the evil foundations Those two men, who wanted to build houses, one built on the rock, strong foundation, while the other built on sand, when the winds came, and the storm blew on the two houses, with the same strength and current, the building on the sand collapsed and great was its ruin, while the one on the rock stood firm, the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him from them all, however, 
any affliction, that starts from the foundation of a person's life needs very serious action, because, 1, we cannot see the foundation 2, the person has now grown above the foundation, 3, the beautiful nature of the external structure will not tell you, what is at the foundation, so, the instability of many lives today is due to their faulty foundation, 90% of stubborn problems brought to the house of God, is due to faulty foundations, I will like to share this testimony with you, at the church we were, long time ago, something happened, there was a witch doctor living around the church with two wives, suddenly, one of the wives started fellowshipping with us at our church, the woman heard the message, and realized that it was wrong, to remain married to a herbalist, so, she decided to divorce the herbalist, the herbalist did not like this, he came to the church, physically threatened us, and told us to tell his wife to leave our church, we told him, that we had no right to stop anyone from coming to church, the man threatened to use his normal means, but ended up running away from the area, various foundations there was another incident of a pregnant woman, who was attending the herbalist antenatal clinic, they agreed that on the day of her delivery, her fee would be in 300 comma the day she fell into labor, she could not afford the N300, they rushed her to the herbalist, who insisted on having service fee of N300, before starting anything, they were able to raise N150, after much running around, the man, then, began the process of taking delivery of the child, he began to rain incantations, and eventually, the woman delivered the first baby of the set of twins, the herbalist now requested for the balance of N150, before delivering the woman of the second baby, the man tried all he could, but the baby did not come out, the woman was in pains, and at the point of death, when the husband came back from work, he decided to take her to her hometown, when he saw her condition, he put her into a taxi and headed for the woman's hometown, along the way, somebody, who knew the woman saw her, and inquired about her problem, the man was told the woman's story, and he invited them to a prayer revival meeting taking place at his church nearby, they put the woman in their center and before they could say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the woman delivered the second baby, now, there is a problem, one of the set of twins, T, was born in the house of a herbalist, and the other, Kihind, was born in the house of God, we cannot expect the course of their lives to be the same, because their foundations are poles apart foundational problems are the most difficult problems anyone can think of, should you destroy a building to get to its foundation? What should you do? This is why the Bible, in its wisdom, prohibits many things and sometimes, it does not explain to you why, when you, then, begin to understand, why God banned all those things, you will be surprised, there is so much wickedness amongst the black race, the first offense that anyone can commit, is to be doing well. Some people will say, that they have not offended anybody, or done anything wrong, you do not need to do anything bad to get them offended. The placenta the simple decision by you to do well, is enough to get them offended, and they will be after you, it is not that the whites do not have their own problems, they do, just like their brains are sharp, their problems, too, are sharp, these wicked people among the black race, do all sorts of wicked things to people they collect blood from young babies, and manipulate the blood, this simple collection affects the baby for life, and if this baby does not know the way of the cross, he will go from the cradle to the grave, with one problem, or the other, people go around clinics, asking for placentas to buy, and once they are given to them, they can, permanently, destroy the baby's life, through that means, they look for sand underneath people's feet, manipulate the sand, and put the people in trouble, they collect fingernails and hairs, and use them against people, they give bad concoctions to babies to drink, and from that moment, such babies are in trouble, some people have the foundation of idolatry, they bear local African names like Fawal, Ogunayami, Babatundet etc., many people were born without familiar spirit, but somebody gave things to them to eat, and they, suddenly, discovered that they have acquired strange powers, they struggle to get out, but, find it impossible, there is, currently, a serious mass exercise of initiations in schools, 
warn your children, that when somebody just comes with loads of biscuits and sweets to school, claiming to be celebrating his, or her birthday, they should.